go down as green one. Not cold. Okay, so we are live, I guess. We're all right. My name is uh, Kenji, or Genji, however you prefer it. I'm gonna speedrun Mogame, which is a fun game. And here is Kinky, who's gonna commentate for me. Uh, I may say some things here and there, but Kinky's gonna carry the. Yeah, hello, hi, I'm your commentator today. So. We're gonna uh, play as Mogame or Sages. Uh, from a new file, and that's it, I guess. We're gonna start whenever you are ready, Pinky. Okay, you wanna count down? Okay. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is small MA. There's a couple things I need to explain. First is uh, bounces. There's bouncy surfaces like these books. Not every surface is bouncy, but uh, some of them are. And then you ground pound on them and it'll make you bounce up. And that's one of the most basic mechanics of the game. But besides that, there's a few others. I'm just gonna cover the basic ones that you need to know for most of the game. First is Bubba bounces. When you're on the very edge of a platform and you bounce on it, It'll launch you forward with a huge burst of speed, and that's a bubba bounce. And then when you're farther away from the edge, that's an edge bounce. It'll make you go upwards and forward. They're not the same. The game is mostly using bubba bounces. That's the most basic tech in the game. And sometimes you use just normal bounces, but besides that, it's mostly just bubba bounces and edge bounces. Yeah. Bubble and then bounce. there's also insta bounces, which is when you jump and then ground pound before leaving the ground. So it looks like you just didn't even move from the ground. And you do that to save a quarter of a second because every time you jump and then do ground pound, you lose a quarter of a second if you're in the air. So that's why you do instas to save that quarter of a second, but you can't always do that. So we got through the first two stages already. That was Ami's office and Techland. Pretty simple stages, straightforward. They both had slides. This stage is one of the newest stages. We actually just got this stage a few months ago in the last update, it's the final update. And he's gonna try and... Okay, that trick is kinda messy because there is an invisible wall uh, that you have to get to uh, by pressing left uh, for a certain amount of frames <laughs> and then right uh, messed up there but it's not too bad there is a trick here you can do to go all the way up from here but it can be kind of tricky to do he missed it so he lost a few seconds but it's not a big deal it's all right yeah, you're supposed to go through... And... He did mess up the end here. You're supposed to go straight down after coming out, but... That only lasts a few seconds, so not a big deal. Okay, moving on. Next is... Ami's Office Revengeance. It's kind of like the first stage, but... Not really. So, here he's gonna try and do a bubble bounce off the leaf. As you can see, not getting it because it's kind of hard the hitbox changed in the most recent version that made it a lot harder to do so lost a bit of time because of that and... uh, sub 30 it's okay sub 30 is pretty okay -ish, i guess we should aim for 17 seconds here but 10 seconds is not too much well the the plant the plant kind of messed you up, and I don't really blame anyone for getting messed up because the plant now, ever since it changed. Okay, so here's Inescapable Madness. We got a big skip coming up here. Not sure if you're going for it, but playing safe. Okay, playing safe. Probably smart. 
there is a skip there you can do if you do a bubble bounce on that ledge back there you can go through this whole section very quickly but it's pretty risky to do in a full game run we're mostly a uh, il uh, oriented speedrun community so we don't play full game as our main focus we usually play just individual levels so that's what we're used to doing but in marathons of course we do full game so it's a pretty different game for us playing the full game there's a lot of risky things that we can't do that we would normally do in ILs, but it all depends on the runner. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what Genji's going for or not in this run, but I know he's been practicing a lot recently, so... Oh, should be good. The stage is kind of my nemesis, so I'd rather go uh, safe instead of trying yeah, to save time. Uh, a, little, a little slow, but it's alright, because, yeah, that stage is kind of scary. Okay, next is uh, TTM to the moon. We'll see if you get good RNG or not. Yeah! Okay, you did get good RNG. Okay, here he's about to do a big skip. It can skip almost the entire stage. Shit! And he died. Okay, that's really unfortunate. So, I lost quite a bit of time, but let's see if he can recover. Uh, I don't know where am I okay, going. No. I even yeah, he missed it, bubble. so he's gonna have to go the normal way. That's unfortunate. Normally, you can skip half the stage or almost the entire stage, but it's pretty hard to get those in a full game run, so really can't blame him for missing it. It's pretty hard to do. Ooh, okay, yeah, very lucky. Gravity almost killed him there. Good enough, considering what happened. <laughs> okay, next is going to be Inomore. We like to joke about how this is the hardest stage in the game. It's not. Okay, that was a momentum jump you did. There's not that many momentum jumps in this game, but there are a few parts of the game where you do have to do that, but you can't progress. Wow, wow. Bow, bow. Of course, you can double bounce from the dogs, so we joke about taming them. They didn't mess me up too much today. Alright, next up we got Mogu Mogu. Which means uh, to be eating in Japanese. Yeah, everyone look out because this song is a banger. Alright, so another thing about this game is the FPS actually plays a big part of how the game works. So the game can be very different depending on what FPS you're playing at. That's unfortunate. And um, so the lower FPS is basically unplayable. Like 60 FPS is like unplayable. You can't really play the game like that, at least not speed on it. Most things just don't work and the game is just drastically slower. So most of the time we'll play at anywhere from like 100 to 144 FPS, but sometimes we play it on cap, so it'll be like in the hundreds. In full game, we usually play at 144 or uncapped. There's a lot of different reasons for that. I'm not going to go into all of them, but uh, Genji's chosen to play at 120 FPS today. Specifically for a trick he's going to do in a stage later. And he just got the Okayu skip there. That's good. Save a bit of time. And let's see if he gets the slide. Okay, he did. Cool. He got that little Geary slide. That's cool. Some style points there. Wait, well, not really. It does save time, but it looks cool too. Okay, next we got Pop on Rocks. Okay, here at the beginning we have Dark Skip. 
so this level is moving and it's in the dark for like the first 10 seconds Ready? but you can still keep moving and the platforms are moving and there's a cycle and everything so we just call doing the first few platforms uh dark skip because you're doing it in the dark. I wanted to kill myself at the very beginning to surprise you and make you think that uh, that I would mess up, but uh, it was actually intended because you can die without losing any cycles. It was a joke, but I forbore. I actually didn't know that. I knew that you didn't know that. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know everything. You're right. I know a lot, but not everything. I messed up the joke, which is sad, but whatever. At least I didn't die. I lost like four cycles. Okay, here comes hope. This is when the game starts getting quite a bit harder, especially speedrun wise. The sage is really easy to mess up. I mean, it's really easy to make a lot of mistakes in the game, but stuff like that. And now you're probably off cycle. That was not intended either, that was an accident. Okay, so this stage has a gravity switch going between like up and down and you switch a couple of times throughout the stage but when you're speed running it uh, you're supposed to do the whole thing upside down basically until you finish it at the end but he messed up at the beginning there so he's having to go the intended route which loses a lot of time. Same time, it's hard. Okay, got it that time. All right. Next up, we have reflect. The whole reason he played at 120 FPS was just to do that at the beginning. The bubble bounce there at the beginning of the platform in this stage. Because you do play a stage at 120 FPS in uh, IELTS. But I've never seen anyone play full game at 120 FPS. So I thought it was a very interesting choice. Things going pretty good so far. The only checkpoint here is at the halfway point, so if he dies, he'll have to go back quite a ways. Hell yeah! Okay, next we got coming up Red Heart. This is a pretty interesting stage. You actually have to do a lot of, well, I'm not gonna say a lot of edge bounces, but edge bounces are pretty good in this stage. Yeah. Most of the game you're just doing bubble bounces, but sometimes it's better to do edge bounces like that, you just did one. And in this section you do a lot of them. But it's also pretty risky to fall off here.
like that. But at least he got the checkpoint. So not a huge time loss since he died at the checkpoint. We're gonna head bounce up here. Like that. And will you get it? No. No. no <laughs> Okay, now this is what we call the pots. And this section is pretty hard when speedrunning. But it's not too bad if you're just trying to go through it decently fast. Yeah, that pot was fine. Okay, next we got the last stage already, Nothing, which is short for Nothing Beats a Ground Pound. This game is all about ground pounding and... Yeah, you get it. So this stage is kind of like a remix of Pop on Rocks. You know, the cube stage you saw earlier. It looks pretty similar, but it's actually different in the second half. And also everything is on a different cycle. Um, it's kind of faster. Hey, he's doing really well right now. He's doing great. Oh. oh, that's really unfortunate. Huge, huge time loss there. Safety checkpoints. I think that was an accidental hit bounce. Shit! Oh. I felt like I saved it and then I didn't. <laughs> Momentum jump here. Wanna get a few in the game. Last checkpoint. And then this right here is actually a trick jump because it makes it seem like you should jump forward, but actually you just need to jump in place. Yeah. Okay, I guess we didn't PV, but we are in a good phase. Okay. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Hope I what don't. The time? <laughs> the time it's sixteen forty-six. Pretty decent. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good for a marathon. Yeah, actually, I've been practicing to my a lot. My PB is only like fifty seconds away from this. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thanks everyone for the GG's. Gracias a todos por pasarse, por venir. The game has plenty of bangers and we were people dance the entire game. Thanks Pinky for commentating. I invited yeah, everyone to play this game, which is free. Uh, if there is people interested in speedrunning the game, we as a Yeah, if you want to play the game, literally just search small MA and It'll be the first thing that comes up, probably, on uh, itch.io, the game. We are, we are more than uh, open arms as a community to teach everyone <laughs> whatever they need to know about the game. Because uh, we are desperate about getting new people to play at least one stage. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a free rap yeah, spot, it's... but the, the game is actually cool. Even though it's, it's actually a really fun game to speedrun, especially when you're first starting. It's um, kind of addicting. When you're really. trying to get really serious, is when the game gets really hard. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for. Everyone. I do recommend playing it. Really fun game. One of my favorite games. I love this game. I hope the 
you are enjoying I'm at uh, their platinum and you that you enjoyed my run uh, I tried to put a lot of effort into this I actually started running this game again because of the marathon and because it's the last patch so I wanted to give a shout out to the game uh, since it gave me really good friends and it uh, it pulled me into the uh, speedrun world in which I met many interesting people and I made many friends so thank you from the very bottom of my heart Carter is everything okay or I'm at I don't know I'm at truly sleeping I guess I guess we have to fill up uh, fill by now <laughs> Yeah, good. I was just letting you do your uh, your outro. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, swap into intermission. Yeah, yeah. We everything is alright, I guess. 